Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to cover what might be the best bench press building program I've ever put out. Before I get into this topic, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, check out the link below. I'd love to work with you. All right. This program's been around for quite a while. I give a lot of my clients the 5, 10, 10, 20. I started using it way back in South Carolina over 10 years ago. And little did I expect that it would still be around today. It remains one of the best bench press builders in the short run to give your bench press a little bit of a bump. Over and over again, when I give this program to people or they try it, they see a 20, 30, 40, even a 50 pound bump. That's not uncommon. Now, I'm not going to blow a smoke up your ass and pretend this is going to be magic for everyone. Some of you might not like this program, but give it a try. It is something that's extremely engaging and worth giving it a go. So the 5, 10, 10, 20, let's get into things a little bit more. Nearly 10 years ago, I came up with this randomly just in a gym in South Carolina. I was working for Muscle and Strength, and I decided just to do something random that day. I used the same weight for every set, and I did 5, 10, 10, and then tried to do 20 reps. It was my goal that if I hit, could hit 20 reps on the last set, I would add 5 pounds the next time I was in the gym. So this worked quite well, and because I was working at Muscle & Strength as a content director or content manager, I decided to put this into a program. The first program I created actually had seven sets, and this isn't anything I would particularly recommend. It's a little bit tedious, but I used the same weight for seven sets, and I did 5, 5, 5, 10, 10, 10, and 20 plus. This is pretty brutal. If you want to try this variation, by all means, it's not something I advocate or give to any of my clients. Now, in the last 10 years, no other bench press program that I've created has produced such amazing quality feedback like this program. I continue to use it today with many of my clients. And I was just, I've just been completely shocked over the years at how many people have run it and said, Hey man, this bumped my bench press. This is a great program. My bench press went up 20, 30, 40 pounds on it. Uh, I've had guys, I continue to have clients hit 185 by 20, 200 by 20, 225 by 20. It's just a quality program. It's not magic, but it definitely produces results for a lot of lifters. Now, several years back, I decided to complement uh, this program with something that was a little bit lower rep. So I put together the three, four, five, six, seven plus. So you would do one day where you do the five, 10, 10, 20, and then you do another bench day where you do the three, four, five, six, seven plus. On this one, this is a little bit heavier of a day. So you're going to use the same weight for every set. You do three reps with that weight, rest, do four reps, et cetera. And then on the last set, you do as many reps as you can. And basically, if you hit seven or more, the next time you're in the gym, you would add five pounds to the bar. Now, combining the 5, 10, 10, 20 and the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus is a great plan of attack. You can either alternate every other week. If you're benching once a week, you could do the 5, 10, 10, 20 one week and the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus the next or if you're benching or pressing twice a week in kind of an A, B or upper lower type of split, you could do the volume day, the 5, 10, 10, 20. And then the next day you could do the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus. Now here are some notes on the 5, 10, 10, 20. It is best performed during a program that allows for benching two days a week. I think that's the best scenario, even though you could bench just once a week. If you are benching twice a week, you probably want to rest 72 hours in between bench sessions or two complete rest days in between sessions. Make sure this protocol is performed during a bulking phase. You really want to be bulking anytime you're trying to build your bench press. We don't do fat bulks in the massive iron world. If you need more information on quality bulking, head over to superlivingtoday.com and search bulk. Now, because this program is stimulating your central nervous system, your CNS, you should find that each subsequent set almost starts to feel lighter. That's a really nice benefit 
of running this program. The first set to me almost always feels like the hardest or heaviest set. And then my central nervous system starts to wake up and each subsequent set starts to feel a little bit lighter. Now, I've never put together 5, 10, 10, 20 variations but in this video. I wanted to add a few different options for you guys. You can do the 5, 10, 20. This can reduce time in gym a little bit. Some of the folks that I'm working with want to cut down a set here and there where, where they can, and the 5, 10, 20 is a good option for that. Also understand that the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus is completely optional. You don't have to do this. If you want a second bench day, you could do the threes protocol. You could do straight sets like three by eight, or you could do some lower rep work like four sets by four reps, three sets by three reps, five sets by three reps, etc. Now, here are some other variations you might want to play with if you don't like 20 rep sets. You could try four, eight, eight, 12. And again, all of these are using the same weight for each set. You're not changing weight. 4, 8, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12, 16. Then we have three, uh, three rep variations, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 6, 12. And then you have 2, 4, 8, 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. With each of these, you're eight, when you're able to hit the number listed at, on the last set, that's when you would add five pounds the next time you perform this in the gym. Now, why is this program magic? Why are people seeing really good results on this bench press program? Number one, it builds confidence while stimulating the central nervous system during each subsequent set. You get a great convergence of the weight starting to feel lighter as you move along, but you're also going to be pushing for your hardest set at the end. So as the weight is starting to feel harder, you're pushing for the most reps, and it's just a really interesting convergence. Now, this program also introduces a little bit higher volume into the bench press. And quite honestly, one of the areas where most people lack when it comes to bench press training is that they're doing lower rep or they're not getting in enough bench press volume. So this program is very good at pushing you into a little bit higher volume. Also, it is super engaging and fun. And because of this, lifters tend to rock it up and wait. There's something called the training effect. When you give lifters a new variable or a new program, they almost always make quality progress. Now, if you take a really engaging program like this that's just fun and different, and you put that into the mix, you almost always see good progress. Now, if you need more information on this, you can join TeamMassiveIron.com or DM me on Instagram at BenTheBarman. So guys, let me know what you think. Have you tried the 5, 10, 10, 20? Will you try the 5, 10, 10, 20? Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.